Hi, I'm Dr. Polly Parsons. I'm the Chair of Medicine here at the University of Vermont, and I want to welcome you to all of our fellowship programs. We have an outstanding opportunity here at the University of Vermont. We work daily with world-class faculty who are internationally recognized for their contributions to research and education and have exceptional fellows, residents, and medical students. Education is one of the core missions of our Department of Medicine, and we're extraordinarily proud of our fellowship programs and the opportunities it provides to the trainees, both when they're here in training and as they go on into their future careers. Uh, we have a three-year program. We take two uh, fellows per year for each of three years. Our main focus is on training academic pulmonary and critical care physicians. We offer not only a very rigorous uh, clinical program, but also substantial time for research in the second and third years. We have a T32 training grant from the NIH that helps support fellows who want to stay on for a fourth year of training as well. We're a, a smaller fellowship than some, but with a relatively large faculty. Uh, so I think despite our small size, there's a lot of different opportunities to work with world-class specialists. The best part I liked about the program when I was interviewing was the diversity of the faculty. They are the who's who of ATS and be it becoming a bench researcher and being running a lab versus becoming a thorough clinician. They have faculty members who have experienced all of this and uh, it is uh, really nice to have help in every single area um, of expertise from the experts in their field themselves. Our catchment area is over a million patients throughout upstate New York and upstate Vermont. We see a, a broad array of pulmonary and critical care medicine. We see patients from um, this entire expansile area and I think um, that really offers me uh, a lot of medicine to learn and a lot of pulmonary critical care medicine to learn. Already just in a few short months I've felt like I've seen a vast array of diseases and uh, enhance my clinical knowledge. We do a lot of uh, consult time and uh, ICU time during the first year and there's more um, research time and uh, more advanced learning time such as EBIS and cardiopulmonary stress test time during the second and third years. During the first year fellowship, uh, we like people to go around and, and chat with people who they think might be potential research mentors during their second and, and, and third year. Uh, it can seem a little overwhelming when you first come in, but um, set up an appointment, talk to these people. We have expertise in acute lung injury, asthma, COPD, pulmonary fibrosis, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary hypertension, and other areas. Our fellowship training program has plenty of time for self-learning as well as fellows do uh, frequent teaching throughout the three years of the curriculum. That helps prepare them for their boards as well as for an academic career. The attendings here give you a lot of autonomy, even as a first year fellow, um, but I still have support from fellows who are in their second or third year um, who are always available for me. We can offer you a very broad clinical experience as well as a very rigorous academic experience in training in pulmonary and critical care. We've got a very active research program in cystic fibrosis, interstitial lung disease, uh, acute lung injury. Uh, work in the ICU, looking at uh, palliative care in the ICU, communication in the ICU, as well as drug interventions. I've uh, come to really like it here. Not just uh, working in the hospital, but also the outdoors that Vermont offers and the friendliness of the people around and the warmth, I think, uh, also is an added bonus or a plus-plus point.